Please be seated. Mesdames et messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. Le président, le président. The chamber is now back in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. The last question I put to you, and you responded clearly that the people at the re-education office in Brazil, none of them was ever released. Except about 30 people. Aucune de ces personnes a été libérée à part who were required personnes to stay. So besides, there was no release at all. Raison and it was different from Il the M13. And it was different from the M13. And it was different from the M13. And it was different from the M13. However, cela était en ce sens there was an M13. indication to show two issues. Toutefois, One is the functioning Vous avez of Brazil, which was to re-educate the male and female combatants who made offenses and who were yet to be smashed and who were called the elements. Que sous le terme and another indication that you show was that people at Brazil were divided into three categories. One is the light, light group, the second was the medium, and the third group was the serious offense group. And you stated that there was very little le number of people who moved from the second uh, to the first group. Des plus graves, and the move was from the one to the second et, and from the second to the third group. Possible une personne appartenant au premier groupe passe au deuxième groupe. Can you explain une, further une the intention of the re-education without ever releasing them? Contexte, L'intention de ce centre de rééducation, car il ne s'agissait aucunement de libérer qui que ce soit. En prenant, en prenant en compte and le to be killed, degré de surveillance de ces personnes, de contrôle de ces personnes, re at an et au time final, there might be a tout le monde committee. devait être... To make assessment of those, whether si, si of what levels those people had been re-educated, re that they could be returned back to uh, their respective units, commission, et was that the essence of it. But in this unité. case, they were never Cependant, released, and they were categorized differently into various groups. Ont été, Can you explain uh, to us dans différents groupes, regarding the three nous categories of the people and what? Did it cela mean by re-education and that they were never released? Que cela veut dire, puisque ces personnes n'étaient de toute façon jamais libérées? For the third group, enfin, pour who ce qui est du troisième groupe, to be smashed. Le sort des personnes appartenant à ce troisième groupe, eh bien, c'était la mort. Ces personnes the accused, Mr. Exécutées. President, the term re-education was Monsieur officially used during that un terme regime. Utilisé sous le régime. And the word element was also used officially. And the division the of utilisés, the elements into three categories nous avons classé les éléments en trois catégories. had to be done. Et ceci devait être, ce travail devait être effectué. Even within the military units, Même au sein des unités militaires, members had to be divided into various categories. For example, the strong teams, the exemple, medium team, or the weaker team. De And in actual et practice, plus faible. Et en pratique, there was never a movement from the serious to the lighter group. It's only one way. De 
personnes appartenant au troisième Secondly, groupe vers le deuxième ou vers le premier groupe. Cela ne marchait que dans un sens. Par ailleurs, la ligne du parti ne devait jamais, on ne devait jamais montrer vis-à-vis -vis du parti que les personnes étaient euh, que l'on les personnes. No uh, si il y avait in the une, party line. rien n'était stipulé dans la ligne du And parti pour the réhabiliter les personnes. Even Telle était la réalité. Même pour ces 30 personnes, le parti nous a instruit de rééduquer les gens pour un mois et puis ils ont été intégrés dans le tank unit. Le parti nous avait ordonné de les rééduquer pendant un mois. Ils ont été rééduqués pendant un mois. Ils ont été rééduqués pendant un mois être and sometimes once in a while a unit would send one or two of their members to us. So in practice, the re-education aims towards the final stage, which was to smash. And the word re-education was just like a display, but finally, one at a time, they would be smashed. Mais les uns après les, les autres, ces individus devaient être écrasés. The president. Le président. Can I make an assumption that Puis-je donc supposer the term que le terme éducation était term un terme politique car l'objectif principal was était sooner or later that tôt ou tard those people would be smashed those ces who were at prison les personnes there was no other way around no alternative il n'y avait pas d'autre solution pas d'autre option the only thing option. is that there might be a delay in Mais their smashing than those who were directly sent to S21 avant is this correct avant que ces personnes ne soient envoyées à S21 est-ce exact réponse monsieur le président that was the direction of uh, development everybody could see that until it did really uh, but uh, there was no stipulation in the party's document. Uh, evident, but the, the direction of the revolution was to smash them one by one, progressively. Avait pour but d'écraser progressivement ces personnes. The president, you said the operation Question. to arrest. People dit que l'opération consiste à arrêter ces personnes in pray, in or S24, de la rééducation après ça à S24. Ces opérations étaient menées pendant la journée. Par exemple, l'arrestation de l'opération 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 de de Cependant, there are some evidence les, des éléments de which preuve can be believed that a number of people est plausible, disappeared during the night time and they never returned. Pour ne jamais revenir. And frequently people were missing or disappeared from their respective units during the night time. When they were called, la nuit, they ne were never returned. Les, on ne revoyait that jamais ces personnes. That is the reason for the people who lived there felt scared and et shocked. En conséquence, les personnes qui vivaient là-bas après ça et vivaient dans la peur et était dans un état de choc. Est-ce euh, exact Est-ce ce que vous croyez également possible Question, euh, réponse. It happened Il est possible que I cela s'est passé comme ça, car je n'ai pas directly involved deeply into this affair. Impliqué, However, I still believe that if the arrest um, was to be made, it would be better si to do it during the daytime. It is still my belief. Uh, je pense toujours que cette arrestation pouvait avoir lieu uh, la journée. Because the arrest, c'est ce que je crois, parce que which was asked for the assistance for the S by the S21 staff were done during the daytime. Camera Pong and Koitoun were sent during the daytime as well. And I assigned the staff there for the arrest. I was affected by personnel at this time in Phnom Penh as well. It was done during the daytime. So usually for the arrest of the people within the unit, 
It pour les arrestations des personnes dans les unités. Ces arrestations s'effectuaient pendant la journée. Par exemple, on mm, convoquait ces personnes pour les arrêter, par exemple, le camarade Pohn et les trois euh, dernières personnes. Nunchia m'a donné les avions et ensuite nous sommes arrivés so, et nous avons arrêté ces personnes à 15h. Dans la pratique, les arrestations se déroulaient pendant la journée. Et bien évidemment, je ne euh, nie pas que des arrestations et pu avoir lieu pendant la nuit également. Le président, Madame et Messieurs avez-vous d'autres questions à poser à l'accusé Je donne la parole à Juge Toumoné. Juge Toumoné, je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur Kangakil, pouvez-vous confirmé qu'après ça, how was the organization of the working units vous nous dire at Preso, comment how many units les were unités there at de travail à Pressard et combien d'unités y avait-il Réponse, Honor, Monsieur le juge, Talking about the number of units, concernant le nombre d'unités, je ne serais pas en mesure de vous Even donner des informations détaillées. Je n'avais pas une And idée du nombre d'effectifs réels. Et maintenant, j'essaie de savoir quel Soul, était le nombre de personnes qui travaillaient à S21 et à Pressa. Amounted to more than 2,300. Représentant près so de 2,300. So the S21 staff working at Preso amounted over more than the staff working in Phnom Penh. À savoir si uh, il y avait plus de personnes qui travaillaient à Phnom Penh. However, the different categories of the working units Pendant, and organizations are supervised. I would not be able to provide such a precise answer to that. Donner une réponse précise sur ces points. Judge Tumoni. Judge Tumoni. During the time of your supervision at S21 as well as at Preso, did you personally go to Preso? Vous êtes-vous personnellement rendu à Preso? The accused, Your Honor, I went to Preso four times according to my recollection. Selon mes souvenirs, à quatre reprises. I La went fois, there after I became the chairman in order to familiarize myself with the location and the buildings. That was the first time. Ça, the second time, fois. I went to open a study session for the staff there. Je suis allé mener une, uh, and next, de, euh, I went to speak de formation to the ça. elements of the fois, soldiers from the East soldats, zone before they were de integrated into the tank unit. At that euh, time, I went there with Comrade Ho, the three of us. And finally, I went there to visit Ho. once to visit Comrade enfin, uh, Hoi, but he was not there. He went to plant the potato. So I made pour visiter uh, area. Patate. Donc je me suis rendu dans ce lieu à quatre reprises. Judge Tomoni, thank you. Judge Tomoni, je vous remercie. During the time you went dans to Preso, vous êtes, euh, what lors de did ces you observe regarding the working and living conditions, conditions of the elements and the staff there? Et du personnel dans ce lieu. The accused, Accusé, Monsieur le juge. When I went there, I did not go and inspect the unit or to inspect the situation. I went straight into that house. And on the date that I went for the uh, to open the training, I went to the school and after I left, I went straight to Comrade Hoy's house. 
Stay there, had my lunch and was in the afternoon. So for the four times I went there, I did not observe the situation. At one time, when I went to the rice field, I saw Comrade Hoy planting potatoes. He was planting potato with the elements. There were a few of them uh, with him at the time. I think there were less than ten elements. That was my observation. So, for the three visits, I stayed at uh, Comrade Hoy's house, and for the other visit, I saw Comrade Hoy planting potato with the, some members of the elements. Comrade Hoy planted the potatoes with the elements. Judge Tumani. The judge Tumani. In praise of the elements were arrested and sent there for the purpose of re-education through through tampering. Can you explain to us the term re-education and tampering? The term de le terme re-education et de votre re-education. I have already reported to the president that it was a, a general slogan raised throughout the country. Um, that was to re-educate, re to build oneself as new, de but in real practice, de, de the process would finally lead to the arrest enfin, one by one progressively. That is the meaning of re-education. As for tampering, de Pour ce qui tampering est du involves terme, two means, one by labor and two by respecting the disciplines. By respecting the chief or the group or the team, so these are the two directions of tampering: one by laboring, working hard, and the second one was to respect the discipline. So these are the two points of tampering. Judge Tumani, thank you. You answered before the co-investigating judges that those people who were sent, arrested and sent to prison, means they committed offence in their unit in Nompen. Can you confirm those people who were arrested and sent to prison? What type of offence did they commit in their unit? What type of offence did they commit in their unit? What type of offence did they commit in their unit? The accused. The, what I said to the co-investigating judges at the time was basically correct, but I did not think in detail at the time. Let me recap the essence. Who made the decision? De manière approfondie à la question. That is to send people from various units to the re-education center in Preso. Pour ce qui est de la station, les personnes étaient envoyées dans les unités après ça. D'après ce qu'on peut constater maintenant, also with the support of the surviving documents, I can say the people who made the decision. Were those heads of the units who made the request to the upper echelon, that is, to the standing committee, to make decisions? So, if that is the case, then the offence was not ordinary one. At the time that I spoke before the co-investigating judges, I did not think in details on this point. In conclusion, as I already told the president, the people who were within the unit of elements 
Vous voulez dire que les personnes qui étaient en ces unités, les They éléments, c'était des personnes qui étaient déjà considérées comme à moitié des ennemis. And it was the decision of the upper echelon to send them Et to pray. So c'était la décision, c'était sur décision des gens supérieurs de ces personnes qui étaient envoyées après ça. Upper echelon. Quoi qu'il arrivait, ensuite c'était décidé, cela avait été décidé par l'échelon supérieur. And when they were there, Et lorsque ces personnes y étaient, then the S21 would have the authority over them, either to send them to Chiang Kai or to send them to Phnom Penh. So, S21 could only do that after they were S21 ne pouvait faire brought to S24 just too many. Can you verify which units sent their staff to Brazil? Was it both military and civilian units? The accused John initially when it was vague when I reported to the co-investigating judge. Now, based on the documents, it is clear not only those from the nine divisions of the military units Mais Some members from the civilian units were also sent there, including uh, one person des, des from, des from the uh, energy, one from the de de uh, de fire truck unit. Des, de transport était envoyé après ça. And one also from the uh, water work, and another one from the marine transport. De l ministère de la marine et du transport. So, for the general conclusion, en conclusion générale, for all the units in Phnom Penh, there might be a possibility that staff members of those units might have been sent to Preso for the education. Il est possible que des personnes à quelques unités, many, que ce soit, soient envoyées à Pressar, à quelques unités à Phnom Penh. How was the sending of the people who had to be arrested and sent to Preso done? Did the respective units send them directly? Or the staff of S21 went to make the arrest and send them. Or is it that the accused unit took these people to their unit and took them to their unit to send them to Pressa? The issue of who made the decision within the military framework, there was only one person. Eh bien, dans le contexte de militaire, il n'y avait qu'une seule personne. C'était mon supérieur, Sonsei, qui prenait la décision. C'était lui qui revenait de euh, prendre l'initiative. La ligne organisationnelle pour le désignait. Par exemple, la ligne organisationnelle ou la ligne de la décision. Pour ce qui était des autres unités, par exemple, les unités des sapeurs-pompiers, la décision devait être so once the decisions were made, we would wait to receive those people from with the order from Sun Sen. Without the order, nobody would dare to do anything, including Comrade Hoi. They had no authority to receive them, even Comrade Ho. Only after they received my order. That on this day there would be these people who would be sent to pray so, then they would wait to receive, and they did not involve in the arrest of those people from their respective units. When they were brought in, they were not handcuffed. Judge Tumene. The the sending of the prisoners, the prisoners, except from those who were sent from S21 to Preso, were those people arrested from their respective units directly to Preso, or they had to be to go through S21 in Phnom Penh? The accused, the accused, the accused. 
It had to go through the location marked with letter R le lieu on the map. And if you talk about the authority to receive them, si on parle de we only can do that after I receive instruction from my cela, superior. Then the special unit organized by Kamrat Hui would be able to receive them. Reçu so it was not direct. It had to go through me first after I received instruction on from my upper echelon. There was no direct sending to de mon supérieur hiérarchique, il n'y avait pas d'ordre so direct le temps de les envoyer directement à Pressard, qui devait passer par moi. Were registered, was registered Donc, in the list, and they were photographed as those who were sent to S21. Est-ce que ces personnes étaient photographiées comme les personnes qui ont été envoyées à S21? They were registered in a separate list, juge, I believe, de ces and their photographs were not taken at the same place as those who were detained at S21. Their photographs were taken les, separately. Um, From what I can remember, it was Kamrat Son who was the photographer, and it was not a Kamrat Sin at all. Ce n'était pas le Kamrat Sin, mais le Kamrat Som qui prenait les photos de ces personnes dans un autre lieu. Just mm, too yeah. many. Thank you. As you uh, have confirmed, Question. at Preso, there was no interrogation for confession of those who were the elements. The question is, were there any people detained and tortured? I mean those who were there. I mean those who were there. The accused, your honor, there was a small location for detention, yes, I was aware of it, as I was told by Kamrat Khoi, and I authorized him to do so. However, regarding torture, I was not aware of it, but I believe they did it without my knowledge. But there was no official confessions which were sent to me for my annotation in order to send to the upper echelon at all. Judge Tumane, question. What about the monitoring and supervising the prisoners? How was it done? I mean, uh, for both during the working hours and during the resting period. Aussi bien pendant le temps que les personnes the accused, détenues après ça travaillaient que pendant leur temps libre. For both the working Dépense. hours and the resting pendant period. Pendant les heures de travail et pendant le temps de repos. There were S21 staff uh, working at Preso. They monitored them. They worked S21 alongside with them. Uh, so they knew Pressor, the situation uh, and they would report de, through their de chain of command. S24, from their des team to their group, then to their platoon, up to the company, peloton, and finally end up at Hui's place. Rapport qui parvenait enfin au niveau de Hui. So there was no daily report. Uh, to S21 every day. They only reported usually on a weekly regime on those who were sick or who could not work and uh, the incidents that happened. But usually I assigned Comrade Ho to take charge in the matter. So that was the chain of commands and the report was delivered on a weekly basis. Une fois par semaine. Judge uh, Mane, as you stated earlier, those people who were sent to Preso were divided into three categories, categories light, medium, and serious. 
What about the work uh, allocation? Was the work allocation also based on the groups they belong? It means light work and uh, heavy work. And what about the working hours? Were they the same? The accuse, uh, based on my assumption, uh, the labor and the food ration uh, were not different, but the only different, uh, it was about the rights and uh, freedoms, uh, the right to, to live in the third group. It was uh, very small. When he, uh, they commit any small mistake, uh, they were vulnerable to, uh, to uh, danger. And uh, they were very vigilant against them. And um, uh, so it's only the rise and freedom that is uh, different. Judge, too many. Question. Uh, the working hours for for those who were in prison. Uh, what were the working hours? You said that uh, at least they had to work eight hours a day. So uh, eight hour or ten hour. It is a. Uh, there was a shift, or uh, what was the uh, working hour allocated? Uh, the accused, uh, Your Réponse. Honor, uh, as far I as as far as I remember, and based Réponse on my Yen. assumption, there was Réponse two shifts uh, from uh, four hours in the morning and another four hours in the afternoon. So when there's a lot of work to do, uh, they need to uh, wake up in early morning from uh, 4 a.m. in the morning. And when there was a lot of work to do, uh, they had to work at night when there's a moonlight at night. That's all I can tell. Uh, church too many uh, for those uh, who uh, was arrested and sent to prison uh, they need to be re-educated and during the time they spent at prison uh, were there any meeting or education for them the accused those who were uh, re-educated if uh, talking about those who were in the elements unit, it was under Comrade Hui. And uh, for me, uh, when I uh, called someone from Prezor to Phnom Penh, it was under my supervision uh, only for the uh, uh, combatant, military combatant. But people who were in the uh, elements, it was under uh, Comrade Hui. A uh, question. Uh, did you know uh, what were the uh, contents uh, of that uh, education or re-education? The accused, uh, Your Honor, in that Réponse. education, uh, so it based on the education the superior learned from the standing committee, and then uh, they uh, took that lesson uh, to, uh, to their uh, subordinate. So three of us uh, went to the standing committee, and when we returned, uh, I conduct education to the staff uh, in Phnom Penh, all staff member from Prezor Phnom Penh uh, was organized for me uh, to conduct education. And at Prezor, it was uh, Comrade Hui who did the education. So we learn uh, the uh, party lines uh, the same. So we use uh, those party lines for uh, education to our subordinates. Thank you. Uh, too many. Uh, can you tell us uh, those who uh, who were uh, experienced the uh, 
education or tempering, uh, was there any measure against uh, the one who violated the rules or the instructions uh, of the uh, chairpersons, uh, for example, failure to complete uh, the work as planned, and anyone who failed to follow uh, the discipline? Uh, what was the result of that failure? The accused, uh, Your Honor, uh, the uh, disciplinary actions uh, they suffered uh, that I uh, knew at that time. There was one à place uh, uh, they uh, used to detain the victim for a period of time before sending to Phnom Penh or to release. Uh, but uh, the statement that uh, people were scalded or uh, beaten and Mais, they used uh, a bad word or uh, derogation against them, yes, I agree. And uh, in some cases, I authorized them uh, to, to do. It was uh, uh, the detention in uh, one place in a house. And during the detention, I believe uh, there was a torture uh, against uh, the victim. Yes, I believe that. Uh, uh, too many. So for those who failed to uh, follow the instruction of the chairman may result in uh, uh, reprimand or the scolding. Uh, was there any case about uh, the uh, de deprivation of uh, food as the uh, uh, disciplinary actions? The accused, uh, Your Honor, uh, there might be the case, but uh, it, it has not been uh, very long because um, uh, may cause the, uh, it may cause the uh, victim to weak and uh, cannot work. So there's uh, a case that food deprivation one day or two days. Judge too many. At Presor, uh, were there anyone who were sent for re-education? Uh, was uh, the victim a foreigner or the Westerner, or were there any Vietnamese uh, victim? The accused, Your Honor, uh, there were no uh, Westerner or foreigner from the, uh, the Western. Uh, area. There were no Vietnamese uh, uh, victims because the Vietnamese victims, uh, they were sent to uh, S21 not because they were Vietnamese, uh, they were uh, the person who uh, commit any fraud or offense against the regime, and they were arrested and sent to S21. So the staff member in the military uh, of the central or the standing uh, committee, there was no one uh, was uh, Vietnamese. Uh, so, Parmi in conclusion, uh, those who were in Preso, uh, the, none of them were was Vietnamese, and no uh, Westerner. And if anyone uh, from the uh, the Occidental. West, they would be sent to so, uh, to S21. That's all. Question. 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 Uh, were there any women and children uh, experience the re-education at uh, Presor uh, Your Honor, yes, uh, there were oui. women. Uh, the children uh, might be true because they uh, follow their mothers. Peut-être des enfants aussi qui accompagnaient leur mère. What what Question. was the system of uh, management at uh, Presor? 
Comment uh, ça? Did they allow uh, the women and children uh, stay together or stay in the same house as uh, the men? Étaient logés ensemble à part à part des hommes. The accused, uh, let me uh, mention one word. Uh, the children can stay with the women, but um, uh, the men and women uh, were not stay uh, in the same Les house or building. Pas à loger dans la même maison ou le même bâtiment. Uh, Chair Tumani, you just Question. mentioned uh, earlier that uh, you went to Prezor for uh, four times and uh, you did not see uh, very well about those who were in the elements unit. So how can you say about their federations um, for for those who were in the elements unit at Prezor? Aux éléments. The accused, uh, Your Honor, uh, the Federation uh, was uh, uh, determined. Yes, uh, there was a Federation. It applied uh, since the crea creation of that re-education center. I, uh, dare, I dare not uh, change that ration because uh, I am afraid I was fearful of a uh, violation of uh, the party line. De la ligne du parti. But I can say that it, uh, the food ration was not uh, better or it's not even the same as for the combatant. When I uh, uh, visited there and I saw Comrade Hui, who were growing the uh, sweet potato with other four or five uh, combatants, I, I observed that um, the health condition is not uh, much different uh, among uh, those uh, at uh, the elements and other people. Uh, judge too many. Uh, can you say um, the the food ration Question. there was uh, sufficient at that time? Ration était the no, it's not La sufficient. Non. Not enough. No. Uh, even myself, I was a cadre. As I, I told uh, you earlier, we do not have enough uh, to eat. Uh, Judge uh, Tumoni, Question. Uh, based on your uh, statement in the case file, um, uh, say that, that those uh, who were sent there were forced to uh, the uh, forced labor and many hours of work, uh, but they uh, received not enough food. Uh, uh, what what can you say about this? Uh, was it a, a torture or que was there a punishment against those people? De torturer les gens ou de les punir? The accused. Réponse. Uh, there were uh, several aspects, but uh, one of the main aspects it is the truth uh, happened everywhere in Cambodia at that time. It was the CPK uh, like to to give uh, food a little food to uh, the people only during the uh, the hard working season and then they provide a better food and there was a slogan so um, they uh, allocated uh, to a certain degree of rice. But the truth uh, across the country, it's like that. Mais cela, vrai dans du pays. So I, I would like to tell you briefly uh, like that. Judge uh, Tumani, at Prisor, uh, it was uh, where uh, the people or the people in the elements unit uh, had to uh, do the rice productions. Après ça, uh, what was uh, the the yielding and where uh, did they send the yielding uh, to? Rizières. 
Mais que faisait-on de la production de riz Où uh, l'envoyait-on To accuse your honor in the first year and the second year, bon, I, uh, don't, I don't know well about that. So for pas. the first year and the is I do not uh, know well about the first year and the second year, they have enough to eat. And uh, the third year, we have some surplus of rice. I forget uh, how uh, the, uh, the quantity. And I uh, send the surplus of rice to the standing committee through Uncle Noon. Judge Tumani. Question. So it means that uh, Presor was a unit to uh, produce right to support S21. And in, in uh, some year, um, there was a surplus of rice. Uh, why don't you use the rice to provide enough food for the unit? The accused, uh, Your Honor. So, It was a uh, common crime uh, to uh, deprive people uh, from food. It was a crime of the CPK and my crimes against uh, those victims. I uh, do not dare change any uh, political party, so we have to follow uh, the allocation of food ration uh, for the unit. So if there is any surplus in rice, uh, we had to uh, give or uh, provide to the uh, party. That's all I can uh, say. Uh, Church too many? Question. Uh, as far as you know, uh, can you tell us Uh, que pouvez-vous nous dire uh, Was Prisor in the same manner as other re-education centers across the country De Prisar par rapport the à d'autres centres uh, similaires your honor. dans le pays uh, My conclusion Réponse. is that it was the same as Je other. Je peux comprendre que Prisar était pareil aux autres centres. Church too many. Thank Question. you. Now come to Merci. the staff member of uh, S21 who were arrested S21 and sent to sent to S21. Were they experienced uh, torture to extract uh, the confession S21. in the same manner as other prisoners? The accused, uh, Your Honor. Réponse. Anyone who were uh, person who were uh, decided by the standing committee the to arrest uh, will be uh, sending and interrogated with torture. However, uh, the importance or the Uh, the people who don't know much, uh, they, they don't, don't keep uh, for a long time, and they were taken uh, to Cheng Eng. So it is uh, uh, the decision is in the hands of the upper echelon uh, uh, to keep for a long a time or a short time. It depends on the necessity of uh, the person who were. Uh, accused of being the traitor. So anyone who were arrested uh, must end up with uh, detained, torture, and extracted for uh, the confession. And in relation to uh, extract information on the uh, traitorous uh, network. Uh, question. Uh, the question. case of arrest of Nun Hoi uh, Kol Hoi Sre, was the arrest uh, made at uh, the ah, at Presor or at S21? The accused, Your réponse. Honor. I had someone to go and call Comrade Hoi to work at Baku. 
qui a fait venir uh, Bakou. Uh, section 3 and later it was part of S21. I had someone to call Comrade Hui to work there and then Comrade Hui saw Comrade Ho and me and Paul. He was uh, in uh, a simple uh, character. So I uh, made the arrest at Baku. Il a été procédé à l'arrestation à Bakou. Uh, judge, two money. Question. Uh, the question is that you said that uh, Nun Hoi was arrested at Nun Baku. Nun Hoi était arrêté à Baku. Uh, was Baku part of Pressor? Est-ce que Baku faisait partie de Pressor? The accused, uh, Your Honor, Réponse. Baku, uh, at the beginning, it belonged to début, Division 703. Baku appartenait but, à la 703 uh, division. Later, when uh, la the suite, military men went to the battlefield, I requested uh, uh, to include uh, Baku, uh, Baku to be part of S21, and uh, we just received that uh, place uh, from uh, that division, and we uh, made the arrest of Nun Hui at uh, the place. Question. Question. Uh, at Baku, was there any uh, unit uh, who controlled the people like uh, Preysor? Surveiller les gens comme un pressor. The accused, Your Honor. Réponse. At Baku, we got it back from 703 and Nous avons the pressor team supervised Baku. Et l'équipe de pressor supervisait aussi Baku. Ce n'étaient pas les gens de Phnom Penh qui s'en occupaient. Judge Tomene, thank you, Question. Mr. President. Merci, I no longer have a question for the accused. Judge Carwright, do you have questions le for the Judge accused? Judge Carwright, you questions for the accused? Judge Carwright, you take the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Kang Gek Yu, Kang -Gek -Yu. Uh, some of my questions will be to clarify Je vais vous poser des answers qui to earlier questions because the translation has not uh, allowed me to understand clearly your answers. First of all, can you tell me when me Presa was first established? as part of S21. Dans le contexte S21. Did that occur when S21 was established S21 in 1975? The accused, Your Honor. Réponse. Preso was established after the 17th April 1975, just a little bit after that, it was when the Communist Party of Kampuji assigned 703 Division, which had a, po a police office who had a connection with the Standing Committee. So the unit was already in existence. And when S21 was established, Nat came to supervise the unit in the name of the chairman, and the supervision extended to Preso as well. I would like to also confirm that the word S24 used by Nat from my analysis S21, he only focused on the small area in Phnom Penh. As for S22, it means the fruit farm location somewhere in Takmau area. And S23 was possibly 
meant the prison in Dakma in a psychiatrist hospital and S24 meant for Bresor. This is for your honor to know that Bresor was established during the NAT era. It means before I entered Phnom Penh. And when I got assignment at uh, S21 as a deputy chairman, the committee had four members, NAT, the biggest, I, the deputy, Ho, in charge of Phnom Penh, and Ho, in charge of the rice fields. So S21 established since the establishment of the police Merci office of the Division 703, directly led by Son Sen. And to your knowledge, did Presa always operate as a tempering and re-education site, that is, from the 17th of April, 1970? The accused, Your Honor, based on the analysis, let me use your word, based on my understanding, Preso became the re-education office after, a little bit after the 17th April 75 until the 7th of January 79. Now, during the questioning Question. by the president, there were some figures mentioned that were a little confusing for me, and I want you to clarify them, please. First, are you able to say how many in total people were detained at S24? from the time you became deputy chairman until the 6th of January, 1979. The figure, I did not think of the figure at the time. But the president said um, the actual figure was 571 people. These 571 people, based on Mr. President's statement, was extracted from the agreed document. The total 571, including both the elements who were arrested, uh, from Preso and the S21 staff um, who worked in Preso. So these two figures, these two groups combined together si made a total of 571 people. Well, just so I can get this personnes. clear, could we see document E68.41 on the screen? Now, I think we're still at the stage where it's necessary to call on the services of the co-prosecutors. Is that still the position? In which case, could the AV unit switch to the Office of Co-Prosecutors and its document E68.41, Khmer English ERN 0 
Thank you. Now, the title to that document is S-21 Prisoners Arrested from S-24 or Presor. And if you go to the very end, the last page of that document, uh, and if we can perhaps uh, look at the number uh, on the far left column, Dans la colonne tout à fait à gauche. You will see that there are 590 people on that list. Do you accept that this is the number of prisoners, S21 prisoners, arrested from S24? They accused. Your Honour, yes, I accept it. Madame la Juge, oui. En effet, j'accepte. So, in fact, these are just a few of the prisoners held at Presor, are they not? These are only the prisoners who were arrested and taken to S21. Is that correct? Et emmenés à S21, n'est-ce pas? Il ne s'agit que d'un petit nombre de prisonniers qui ont terminé après ça. The accused, Your Honor. L'accusé, Madame la Juge. I am not sure whether the figure includes the combatants of S24 or not. I am not sure at all whether they were purely the elements totaling up to 590, or did, does it include my combatants working at Brace, or I am not sure on this point? Well, uh, there are further documents in that list that we can look at, 68.42, which is 0033.3703. Three seven zero one to zero zero three 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 seven zero three. Can we um, put that list up on the screen? Mr. Co prosecutor. Um, Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, we can do it. It's it's a labour-intensive exercise. We need to pull out a plug and put it back in. We've been advised that uh, that we resolve next week, but um, it'll take a couple of minutes. So I was wondering whether we'll do that if you want to continue questioning. All right. Th thank you. Well, perhaps um, uh, I can do it like this for the moment. That document is headed S21 prisoners. Former uh, uh, who are former S24 staff, and although you can't see it yet on the screen, there was a total of 47 in that list. Then E68.43, which is 00 Zero zero three 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 seven one eight. The title of that document is S twenty one prisoners previously prisoners at S twenty four, and the total in that group is three hundred and forty two. And the third list, E68.43, e ERN 00337192003375. Has the title S21 prisoners from S24, but not clearly identified as former S24 prisoners. 
and the total in that list is 201. Now, the three lists to which I have just referred, with totals of 47, 342, and 201 amount to the total of 590, which is the list that we have just looked at. If you accept for the moment, without having the chance to look in detail at those three lists, that they are lists of former S-24 staff, previous prisoners at S-24, and others who cannot clearly be identified as former S-24 prisoners, but who come from S-24, are you able to say that the 590 in total is simply the list of those who were sent to S21 from S24? The accused. Réponse de l'accusé. Du honneur. Madame la juge. I accept the figure of 590 as a total number of the S21 staff working at, S at Preso, as well as the elements who were the subjects of being monitored. Yes, I accept the figure. Thank you. Uh, are you uh, suggesting that this 590 represents the total number of people who were detained at S24, including staff who were sent to S21. In other words, there were somewhat fewer than 590 people detained in total at S24. The accused, John, the, the number of 590 was a total addition of the people whom we arrested from S24. It was a it was a sum of additions of my staff of S21 staff working at Preso, as well as the elements plus who were under the supervision and subject to being monitored. So I use the, the words rather than the words element. So to me, the figure of 590 is a sum of these two components. I am concerned that uh, I might not understand your question precisely. If so, you can ask me again. Yes, I realize there is a difficulty in understanding each other. So the next question I have is, did some of the people at S24 get sent direct to Chung Ek without going first to S21? The accused, John, the elements, les éléments. that meant those who were subjects to being monitored qui might at some time be sent directly 
from Preso to Kyungae. Are you able to estimate how many that would be? Those who were sent direct to Chungae. Combien de personnes envoyées directement de S24 à Chungae? The accused, Your Honor, I cannot uh, estimate le Madame la juge, because the figure you just gave to me, I, I suspect that th those people who were sent directly to Chiang Kai was the, the group of those 47 people. This is just uh, my suspicion. Now, can I ask you about the children? at Chung Ek. The President, for example, referred you to a list of eight pregnant women who were due to deliver their babies. Were they permitted to keep their babies once they had been born? The accused, Your Honor, in the case uh, when Réponse. the mother was not arrested Lorsque and the mother remained uh, the person in the element unit, the, the baby was considered uh, as normal. Uh, when normal. the decision was uh, to arrest the mother and the baby or the children would follow uh, the mother. So let me uh, mention it again. So if the mother uh, remain as the person there and not arrested to Phnom Penh, they allow uh, her to continue to live uh, under surveillance and the baby uh, live and stay uh, with uh, the mother. If the uh, mother was arrested, the baby or the children would uh, uh, would be uh, killed. So if uh, there was no arrest, the baby would uh, live with her, uh, her mother. So some children would go with their mothers to S21 and be killed, and others might have gone to Chung Ek direct with their mothers and be killed there. Is that correct? They accuse uh, as your honor if uh, the mother uh, were transferred directly from Preso to Cheng Ek, uh, the baby uh, would be transferred directly together with the mother to Cheng Ek. You said at one stage that there was no release from S24 except for the 30 people who were the military and required to stay. Did I understand that correctly? The accused, Your Honor, it is correct. So, we don't know how many people in total went direct to Chung Ek. We have a list of 590 people who were sent to S21. We don't know how many children were included in either group. What happened to all the rest of the people at S24 who were there for tempering or re-education, uh, particularly on the 6th or 7th of January 1979? The accused, uh, Your Honor, uh, those who were in the elements uh, unit uh, on the 7th January 1979, they fled uh, together with me. I uh, fled from Phnom Penh at 2 p.m. 
and we ran to uh, one place and we break uh, uh, a while at uh, some Kosol Pagoda and we met uh, other people from S24 uh, to the south of the glass factory and we uh, continue our trip uh, at night. So those people from the 11 units uh, went uh, with me, uh, all of them, and when uh, we reach uh, road number four and and uh, some people uh, went uh, another direction, and I uh, went to the direction to Aung Lang, and uh, half of uh, the all people uh, were uh, fled uh, separately to, to two different destinations. Give an estimate of how many people fled with you from S24. The accuse, uh, Your Honor, Accusé, Madame uh, 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 all of them uh, fled, but uh, there might be one or two uh, people, but uh, in general, all of them fled, even though uh, some people in the unit uh, my unit in Phnom Penh, uh, there were nine people that um, the photo of them were uh, known to the world. Can't get a clear picture of how many people there were at S24 who were detained there. And I'm trying to add up the numbers in some way that makes sense to me. Are you able to help me? Est-ce que vous êtes en mesure de m'aider à comprendre ce qu'il en est? The accused, Your Honor, uh, based on the surviving document that I received uh, recently. It is the statistics uh, dated uh, March 1977. Uh, in that time, um, the, sec uh, the general staff of the uh, revolutionary uh, military uh, prepared uh, S24, there were combatants and uh, cadre, uh, 2,327 excluded uh, the, the people in the elements unit. And uh, the elements uh, in total, uh, there was, there was uh, 1,000. 300 people in the elements uh, unit. So in total, in Donc March uh, 1977, uh, uh, there were uh, 1,300 uh, people. 1300 and uh, just before we break for lunch, I just want to ask one more question. The word element is a word that the Communist Party of Kampuchea used for this group of people. Would it be fair to say that they were detainees? The accused, uh, Your Honor, uh, your conclusions uh, uh, can be correct, but I would like to explain uh, the uh, definition of the elements uh, as used in the uh, CPK. Uh, the terms elements uh, uh, simply, uh, if in French, it's called composé in French. For example, in our uh, body, it was not, not clear whether he or she uh, a friend or enemy. So it, uh, they, uh, they suspect uh, that person 
uh, being a friend si or enemy. So uh, they consider uh, them and detain uh, one place, uh, subject them to the forced labor like animal, so that they cannot uh, oppose or fight against uh, the party. That's all. So, uh, this may be a good time to take the uh, lunch recess. Le moment opportun pour nous de faire une la pause pour le déjeuner. The president. Now it is time for the trial chamber and uh, the hearing to postpone for lunch break, and we will uh, be back in session from 1:30. Uh, to continue our proceeding. Uh, the security officer, uh, please bring uh, the accused to the waiting room and uh, bring him back uh, before 1.30 this afternoon for uh, the hearing.